Hi viewers, today I'll show you how to make koi macha dalna or koi fish with vegetables. This is the famous Bengal koi fish. I shall be using three koi fish pieces that have already been descaled and gutted and their fins have also been removed. They are rather fat pieces of koi, if you ask me. We shall also need two medium sized potatoes and some cauliflower florets chopped as shown here. Don't chop them too small. We will also need one large red onion ground roughly, two tablespoons of crushed ginger and garlic and some green chilies. We will also need one and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of chili powder and one and a half teaspoon of coriander powder for this recipe. Marinate the fish with salt. Put some salt inside the fish as well. You need to salt both sides of the fish as I'm doing here. Use salt according to your taste. Add some turmeric onto the fishes. You can be generous. You can use or a uh, miserly. It's entirely up to you. Add some chili powder and some coriander powder onto the fishes. Rub the spices onto the fish like I'm doing here. Put some inside the fish as well. You can rub the fish pieces against each other. That mixes the spices onto the fish as well. That's the fish marinated now. In a pot, add some oil. You can use mustard oil if you have it handy. I don't. So I'm using vegetable oil. Then add the fish pieces onto the pot. Let them gently sizzle on each side for at least two minutes. We are going to shallow fry the fish but not cook it through. It's time to turn the fish over after two minutes on one side. You can see that it has browned up a bit. It's time to take the fish pieces out. That's the three fish pieces out. In the same pot add some cumin seeds. Let them splutter a bit. Then add the ginger and garlic onto the pot followed by the green chilies. Give it a stir. Lower the flame if it flutters too much and then add the onions onto the pot. Stir them around. Let them fry for a bit. Keep stirring. The onions are frying nicely now along with the ginger and garlic. They should take around two to three minutes. After two to three minutes add the vegetables onto the pot. Put some water in the spices and then pour the spices onto the pot. Stir the spices in with the vegetables. Make sure that you coat all the vegetables with the spices. You have to keep stirring to fry the vegetables evenly. Add some salt. Again, according to your taste, give it a stir. You need to now stir 
for at least two to three minutes and now it's time to add the fishes onto the pot these are uh, some rather large pieces of koi so I have to make room to sit the fishes nicely into the pot there we go I'm just making room in the pot for the fishes that's the third fish in now pour the fish juices in as well now it's time to add water to the pot add enough water to cover the fish and the vegetables enough to cook them through just give it a stir make sure that everything is sitting nicely in the pot I'm going to add a bit more water as well as half of a fish stock cube this is optional you don't have to do it if you don't have a fish stock cube bring the water to a boil like I'm doing here then put the lid on and simmer on medium flame for 20 to 25 minutes after around 20 minutes take the lid off to check if the vegetables and the fish are done it looks done to me garnish with some chopped coriander leaves it's time to plate up this beautiful Bengali fish recipe serve the dish with some boiled rice and you have a winner on your hands a traditional koi fish curry that is guaranteed to bring smiles of pure delight to a bunch of proper Bengali fish lovers enjoy <laughs>